Welcome everybody back to Boost Emotion, guys. And today I had to have, the, have this conversation with you guys because of the rising interest rates, because of these dealer prices still staying high. Let's talk about this one thing. What is LTV? What is loan to value ratio? What does that even mean? And can I save you guys money? Guys, hit that intro. Welcome everybody back to Boost Emotion, guys. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Thank you. Welcome everybody back. Welcome everybody back to the channel. First thing, shout out to my Boosted Motion family. I know you guys already hit the like button. Thank you. And I really appreciate you guys. And if you're new to the Boosted Motion channel, watch this video. Hopefully, you know, I do report the news. I am a Nissan Infinity enthusiast. I am a person like you that likes to talk about these things. But also on top of that, I'm just trying to help my fellow man, you know, give any information that I know. And I just want to speak to you guys about. But anyway, guys, let's go. Let's talk. Let's jump into it. So if you guys have seen some of my recent videos talking about um, how the Fed increased interest rates, how our uh, wholesale prices are going down, how dealership retail prices need to go down, how dealerships have predatory actions and these high interest rates from banks and stuff like that. Right. And we're sitting there confused. Like, how do we going to figure out this market? We don't want to get got. We don't want to lose money. And I, as I told you guys in short, wait patiently. Prices will address because there's a lead in lag. The lead is the wholesale right prices, which are the dealership prices, sell to dealer or dealers buy from auction, are the lead. The lag is the retail prices. But here's why you guys need to really pay attention to these retail prices and give it three months plus, 90 days, right? In short, dealerships have floor plans. And floor plans, shout out to my subscriber who corrected me about that. These floor plan lines of credit where they can actually get a loan line of credit to actually go purchase cars from, a, from an auction. Now, every month they have to pay, just like you have to pay your finance charge, they have to pay these um, floor pan um, banks back too with interest. And because interest rates are going up, their interest rates goes up also. So it costs deal most dealerships a lot of money or money per month to keep cars just sitting there and not selling. Now, there's something really important that I want to talk to you about, and it's called loan to value, right? I look at this stuff. In short, um, just use a quick example, right? Let's say the car is $40,000. It wholesales at an auction for a dealership to buy it at $40,000. And the bank, of course, wants to, they, that, that um, dealership purchase it, and they want to sell you the car for $50,000, right? Cool. So now that's $50,000, and the bank, the, then you go to the actual uh, dealership, and they say, listen, we're going to need $10,000 down, right? $10,000 down. That means that low, the loan to value would be about 100% because they're technically loaning you um, $40,000, right? They're loaning you $40,000, which is pretty safe to say if, there's ever, if the car ever needs to be um, repossessed, they can take it to auction because it's only $40,000 and make money on it and still make their money back, right? But here's the things that that mainly changed a lot in the last two years from 2020, 2021, 2022, because car prices were going up, Long, uh, auction prices were going up. Everything was going up. Right. But now in the last three to six months, starting in June, July, auction prices have been going down. Right. So because auction prices have been going down, dealerships were purchasing cars three months ago. It's not the same value it is, as it is right now. And on average, it's between 0.5 to 1 percent per week that wholesale values go down. So that um, let's say it was a hundred thousand dollar car. Now it may be only worth, let's say, for instance, eighty eight thousand dollars at wholesale. Now, I know I dropped a lot of terms, you guys, and you're like, what do you boost? I'm trying to understand what you're getting at. What do you mean? What is LTV? Why do you even care to make this video? Right. The reason being is because now that you purchased that car for fifty thousand dollars. Right. And you put ten thousand dollars down. Right. It's a good loan uh, LTV. But before in the last two years, they're actually going above LTV. 120, 110, 120, 130, 140 LTV. Boost, what does that even mean? Explain to me. So that means that they actually weren't asking for that much more money down. They would actually loan above that 40%. So for instance, let's say the wholesale is $40,000. Uh, $40, 
they will give up to $50,000. That's 125% above book or wholesale value, right? And they will still ask for money down, right? And this is what also made everyone gain so much more money because they've said, you know what? It's a safe place. Everything's going well in the last five to 10 years. Car prices are going up. Everyone's making money. People are making some of their payments because remember, there was a lot of free stimulus money going on the last two years. So everyone was checked. As long as everyone's making their money, everyone's making their payments, repossessions were low. No one was taking cars, repossessing cars. So it was just a time to good time to be alive. Well, those days are over. Those days are over because now what because of the reduced prices of wholesale cars, wholesale prices of cars, because people don't have free money anymore or not the job market as strong as it may be. These people who overpaid for cars, some people are walking away from it because, you know, they're not making as much money or they rather put food on the table than pay for their car. No, it is what it is. So now that $40,000 car now is worth, let's just say, $32,000, right? Now, guess what happens? The dealer had the car for fifty grand. So when you go in there and says, hey, listen, um, I would like to get this car as $50,000, the bank is going to look at it like, well... The bank, when they go, when the dealership goes to the bank, the bank is going to look at it like, well, um, we know you got it posted for fifty, but before we would have only asked for like three, four thousand dollars down. This is too much of a risk we're taking on. We're not going to go to forty five thousand dollars, fifty thousand dollars anymore. That's over, and we're not even going to do the forty. The car is now worth thirty two. You bought it for forty thousand dollars dealership, so we're going to need him to that that uh, purchase the person that purchased the car. We're going to need to. On top of that, add an additional eight thousand dollars. Unless, unless dealership, you reduce the price of your car to make the numbers a lot more safer for us. Then here's the thing: the average person is only going to put down a certain amount of money. They're not going to put extra money. This is why dealerships need to readjust their prices because now, if the car is only worth thirty-two thousand dollars, right? And they paid forty grand for it. The dealership already lost eight k off rip from the car sitting there for three, let's say three to four months, right? On wholesale value, the banks are not going to go above that one hundred percent, right? They're not going to do that anymore. Now they like, yo, listen, it has to be a hundred percent. We're not going one ten, one nothing. We need you to get. To, to, to put down enough money. So now they're going to look at their price of their car, 50 grand. The wholesale value is 32. We already lost 8K. Now we're going to have to reduce the car by, let's say, $8,000 to $42,000. The bank is still not going to approve that loan unless you, the consumer, put down 10K because they won't want to risk it. With a depreciation, depreciated market, they don't want to take on that risky loan. Yes, I understand finance. I understand other things. I get all of that stuff. But for, at the at the end of the day, the bank looks at that look at that as we are not trying to take this risk. They may go one ten where they might only ask for eight k down, but they're not willing to take a risk. And this is also, but even if depending on your credit worthiness, you may have great credit, but at the end of the day, they care about the cash. What are you putting down to make sure that if you don't make the payment, that we can take this car and it's a safer deal? Before the days are over, where they with banks and dealerships could charge up these high prices that wholesale values were so high retail prices with wholesales are going for retail prices those days are over now we're going to see the correction Could guys continue to wait and be patient not every car is going to be not the same not every market is going to be the same what i mean by market is zip code um county um state and just depending on where you are and even season you know what I'm saying? North versus South is hugely different. You know what I'm saying? So it all depends on your market. But patiently wait. If you don't need a car right now, guys, if you don't need a car, do not go out and purchase a car. Be patient. You are going to see the corrections. Look at car gurus. Look at these price trends of car gurus. Look at when the car was posted versus cars that have been posted three months ago. See that now cars that are posted within the car that you may like, they post at right around the same price as post uh, prices maybe um a couple of months ago or maybe a little lower. So now you can actually go to those older dealerships and be uh, no, cars that was posted three to four months ago or two to three months ago and say, hey, listen, um, I would like to purchase this car. I noticed you had it for quite a long time. 
Um, I am looking at these other cars. They'll post a little bit cheaper than yours. Are you willing to negotiate, especially if it's a trim love you're looking for? And they probably are willing to negotiate because they already probably put in the price reductions. All these dealerships know that what's going on. They have access to the black book. They have access to wholesale prices. They know what's going on. They know the banks are not playing. And even the subprime banks are bringing a little fearful because they don't even want to really take on so much risky loans that much either. They're asking you guys for your bank statements. Yes. They're asking you guys for pay stubs. Yes. They want to make sure that you are a candidate. You just can't pick your income out the air anymore and they'll just give it to you. Yep. So I'll say that guys, you have a good morning, good afternoon, good night. Uh, hopefully I earned you like guys like button. If you like these type of videos, definitely comment below. Say boost. We like these type of videos, these informative videos you were doing. But I really appreciate guys for showing your support. Otherwise, than that add me at Boost Motion IG and Facebook. And also you can send me an email at boost and gmail.com. Otherwise, than that, guys, I appreciate you. you. Guys, have a good day. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Do appreciate you guys. Love you guys very much. You can also check out the two links I posted for some of my other videos. Also, on top of that, if you want to purchase some Boost in Motion merch, definitely check the link that I posted also. And finally, if you've been watching all my videos and you enjoy them, please hit the link for to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.